welcome to the big area. This is where you're going to spend a lot of time. So let's get started. Head all the way south, and I mean all the way south. Eventually, you will hit some stairs, climb down. Quickly speak to Koftik once again. Then head to the Dwarven area, just west. You're gonna find an NPC called Niluf. Talk to him. You'll receive a few extra pieces of food. Head back upstairs and trek till you're about 15%. And you'll see a bridge obstacle. Attempt to cross the obstacle. And there's a chance you might have fallen or failed the obstacle. Failing the obstacle means you will fall down, take a nice chunk of damage, and you'll have to trek all the way back up. This is the reason why this quest could be quite a bothersome. But if you need more food, head back to the dwarves and speak to Kamen. He will give you more food. Climb back up and try again. Now here on screen I'm going to show you where exactly the cat is found. Now you might have noticed there was a small house just south after the first obstacle. You want to go ahead and take that black cat to that house. Once you're there at the house, use the cat on the door and wait for your chat log to say that the cat is now inside. You are not able to enter the witch's house, search the chest just south and make sure you have at least five free inventory spaces. Now your next task is to slay the demons just west. It's three of them and there are more obstacles so there is a chance you might fall. Now once you slay a demon, it'll drop an amulet. And just north you're going to see a small chest. Go ahead and open that chest once you've slain the three demons. Once you've opened the chest, you'll receive a Ivan's Shadow. Go ahead and use it on the doll. Now in the western building with the dwarves, you're going to find a bucket. Go ahead and take that. Now on the opposite side, enter the eastern building and use your bucket on the barrel. You will receive a bucket of dwarven brew. Now head all the way to the east south side of this room and you'll find a tomb. Use a dwarven brew on the tomb, light it, then click on it to obtain ashes. You're going to go ahead and use those ashes on the doll. Next, head all the way northeast of this room and you're going to find a small area with several spiders.
you're going to find a big one called Calrag. Slay it. Head all the way upstairs, located here on the map. Now go ahead and wear the Clank's Gauntlets and search the exact cage that I search shown on screen now. Go ahead and use the bird remains on the doll. Now you need to head to the center of the room. Take the same path as I do. Eventually you will reach some disciples. Go ahead and slay one of them to obtain a red rope set. Once you've reached the building in the middle, unequip everything but the rope set. Go ahead and eat any food you might have as you really don't need food anymore. Once you're inside, use the doll on the well and you will receive a Ivan's staff. Run through the room and speak to Koftik. For your last task, you must speak to the king once again. Simply click on the cave in front of you or just take the RD lodestone. Potato potato is the same thing. Speak to the king. Quest complete.